The Ravens' loss to the Browns left many people wondering, what does John Harbaugh really have to say about it? The game was full of unexpected moments, and the decision to take a risk right from the start on fourth down raised many questions among fans. Now, Harbaugh needs to explain his choices and show that there's still hope for the team. Let's explore what he said and how it might impact the upcoming games. Stay with me until the end to understand how this situation can change the team's trajectory. Go Ravens! Imagine this. Right at the first opportunity of the game, the Ravens got really close to the Browns' end zone. It was fourth down, and they just needed one yard to reach the goal line. Most teams would go for a safe field goal to get the score started, but the Ravens decided to try something different. Instead of a traditional play, they chose to do a direct snap to Derrick Henry, who was alone in the backfield. It was a bold move, but risky, especially against a strong defense like the Browns. The problem is that this unusual play didn't work out as the team expected. The Browns' defense was more than ready. And before Henry could move forward, he was surrounded and tackled three yards behind the line of scrimmage. As a result, the Ravens lost possession right near the opponent's end zone, handing the opportunity over to the Browns without scoring any points. This choice surprised and frustrated many, as a less risky play could have avoided this turnover. With this mistake right at the start, the Ravens kicked off the game on the wrong foot, and the decision raised a lot of questions. Fans wanted to understand why they took such a risk when the game had barely begun. So, after the game, Coach John Harbaugh decided to explain what he was thinking when he made that call. Let's see how he justified that decision. After the game, Harbaugh commented on this risky play. He said the idea was to catch the Browns' defense by surprise using a formation called Wildcat, which puts the running back as the only player in the backfield, without a quarterback to lead the play. Harbaugh knew this type of play could be risky, but he explained that he hoped, if executed correctly, it would give the Ravens a chance to gain several yards and maybe even reach the end zone. Unfortunately, the Browns' defense was more than ready and managed to stop Henry quickly. Even with the poor result, Harbaugh defended his decision to try something different in that situation. He admitted that, in retrospect, a safer choice might have been better, but he explained that American football has those risky moments where an unexpected play can yield great results. For him, the goal was to put the Ravens in a strong position right from the start, and he trusted that the team could take advantage of the opportunity, despite the risk involved. Although Harbaugh stood firm in his explanation, many fans and analysts found it hard to understand this justification, especially since the risk ended up costing them dearly right at the beginning of the game. And you, fan? What did you think of Harbaugh's explanation for this bull call? Share in the comments if you agree with his strategy or if you think the team should have played more safely. Let's discuss this. But Harbaugh also had a specific reason for taking a risk on that fourth down, and it involved a well-planned game strategy. Harbaugh explained that from the beginning of the game, the idea was to be aggressive on short yardage plays, especially in fourth down situations. He believed that by pushing early on, the Ravens could pressure the Browns and take control of the game. The strategy was to create an early advantage and, with that, dictate the game's pace. However, by taking a risk without securing the first down, the Ravens ended up at a disadvantage and began the game with a significant obstacle. According to Harbaugh, this decision to take a risk was part of a plan he and his coaching staff had in mind. The idea was that in situations where they needed less than two yards to advance, the Ravens would go all in, trying to surprise the opposing defense and impose their offensive strength. But the execution didn't turn out as expected, and the impact of this failed attempt was felt throughout the team. Even though the strategy made sense on paper, in practice, it was a huge blow to the team's confidence right from the start. This failed attempt to be bold not only put the score at risk, but also gave the Browns control of the game. Now, this questionable approach raises another reflection. How can the team learn from these mistakes to avoid repeating them in the future? Well, we've passed the halfway point of our video, but before we continue, I noticed you haven't left your like on this video yet. This is very important for YouTube to keep promoting my content to you, so I'll keep bringing it to you. So go ahead and leave a like on this video. It's free, okay? Let's continue. For the Ravens. This error on fourth down highlighted the importance of having a balance between boldness and safety. Harbaugh has always been a coach who likes to take risks and innovate, 
but even he acknowledged that some decisions need to be reevaluated after seeing their impact on the field. He talked about the value of learning from these moments and adjusting choices during the game to avoid similar mistakes in the future. The players also felt the weight of this play. When a risky decision goes wrong, the team's confidence can be shaken, and that's where the importance of a good mental adjustment comes into play. To move forward, the team needs to turn these moments of frustration into motivation to train even harder and refine their plays. Even though mistakes are part of the game, knowing how to correct and learn from them is essential for growth and becoming a stronger team. This error served as a lesson for the Ravens about how crucial it is to assess risks in the heat of the moment. The team will now have to work to ensure that something like this doesn't happen again, and who knows, turn this loss into an opportunity to improve their strategies. And now that the team has a better understanding of the impact of their choices, the question remains, what practical adjustments should be made going forward? With this loss behind them, the Ravens now need to focus on how they will prepare for the upcoming games. For sure, Harbaugh and his coaching staff are reviewing every detail of the game to identify what needs to be adjusted. The strategies for fourth down situations, in particular, will be analyzed to avoid any unpleasant surprises again. The focus will be on making safer choices that put the team in a favorable position without taking unnecessary risks. Part of this preparation involves aligning the team and ensuring that everyone is on the same page. Players like Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry know that the team expects strong performances from them, but they also need plays that genuinely increase their chances of winning. For the upcoming games, adjusting their mindset will be crucial, both to reinforce the team's confidence and to show fans that the team is ready to fight for victories. Now, the Ravens are stepping onto the field with the mission of using the lessons from this game to strengthen themselves even further. Each game is a new opportunity to grow and show resilience, and the fans are eager to see the team shine in the upcoming matches with a more secure and consistent performance. So, what do you think about Harbaugh's explanations following the loss? Do you believe his decisions will have a lasting impact on the team's performance in the upcoming games? It's crucial to remember that each game presents a fresh opportunity for the Ravens to bounce back and learn from their mistakes. The season is still full of potential, and the support from the fans is essential during this journey. As the team looks ahead, they will need to take these lessons to heart, ensuring that they adapt and improve. Stay tuned for the latest updates, and let's continue to rally behind the Ravens as they strive for better performances in the games to come. Your thoughts matter, so don't hesitate to share them in the comments below. Together, let's hope for a brighter path forward. Until next video, go Ravens!